welcome back, everyone. And I do mean everyone. It's Forgotten Circus. So, at some point in your youth, when you're a child, there are certain things, certain, how can you say, experiences and situations that you go through that shape you for the rest of your life, mold you, help you grow, or give you nightmares. And if you haven't been living under a rock, that, for our youth and our children around the world, was the Wonka experience. And it was an experience, all right. But I want more from this. I want more. I think this may need the Wonka experience in Glasgow, it needs to go worldwide. I want a tour. I want a tour of the experience. I want the experience, and I'm not a child. I want the experience. I want the Wonka experience. Let's do a tour. I mean, I want to probably let's let's do some uh, press conferences, um, possible book signings. This could turn into a book. Um, we could do like photo shoots. You know, get the whole cast and crew together. Do a lot of photo shoots. I want this thing to move around like King Tut's exhibit. It needs to hit Vegas. And if we're going all the way with this, if we're going all the way in, we're getting agents. We're getting marketing firms in. I mean, we we may go Broadway. Because this Wonka experience has to be experienced by everybody. So we can know the pain that those tr children and parents went through. Imagine being... um. A parent, you're all pumped, and I, and I, and I understand they did it. It was all AI generated. No, I don't understand it because it's ludicrous. But it's so ludicrous, I want to see it. Uh, but the parents, imagine going home like that must have been the quietest car ride home. Either the parents couldn't say anything and the children were crying, or you got that one parent that turned around and looked at looked his child right in the eyes or her child right in the eyes, and said to them. This is the one time I failed you as a parent. And I apologize. The Wonka experience was definitely an experience for me. But I think it needs to hit Broadway. And I, I want to meet the cast. I want to meet the cast and crew. I want to meet them all. I mean, they should be on talk shows, TV shows. Let, let's get them out there. Because a lot of a lot of the people that were... And the one guy that played Wonka, I feel... I, I feel terrible for him and I feel bad for the meth lab girls or whatever that was over there. The secret laboratory. Yeah. It was an experience that turned into an experiment, but some of them are struggling like actors. They're just trying to get it. You know, they're just trying to get a job. So, Hey, this may, the funny thing is this may boost their careers <laughs> because of this. I mean, if I, if I was at a, talent agency or something like that and um i think they should they should get a shoe in let's get let's get them in some movies actually let's do a movie with this I, there's definitely going to be a documentary or netflix thing oh you know it's, that's already being written right now it's probably already done they're probably already talking to them but it's i i if you saw the pictures that were generated it was so by uh AI and I get by the way those people are so peaceful over there I've never heard people argue or scold a person like they did it was like super peaceful but you could you could like the, what they're being so nice but it's like disappointment they were more disappointed and I want the same set I I I hope none of the props or anything I want it the same setup do the same setup anywhere and I bet you Disney's already got their hands in it and they want to put it in the park they'd be like the Wonka experience can we figure out a way how to do this the and have the actual same setup oh it'd be it'd be legendary I want this you want this everybody wants this don't you want to see it I mean Obviously, we'll probably get a horror movie from the unknown guy, which I have no idea. And I, that person, whoever that was, when they said well, you're going to play the unknown, they probably hyped it up. 
And then they were telling, they were telling, they were like, you're just going to be a dude that makes chocolate and lives in the walls at a chocolate factory where they already make chocolate, but they can't get this guy out of the walls. And he jumps out and scares kids. Had it probably been like, eh, well, I'm, well, I'm kind of struck. Can, can you, can you kind of feel the people? They're probably struggling, trying to get some money. I don't blame them, you know? And then they had told the guy they played uh, Wonka got casted for Wonka that uh, um, basically, yeah, we need to do this and just make it, make it up. And he's like, uh, okay, all right. You know, I feel bad for the, I feel bad for the, not the organizer, not the guy. Cause I think he's a con man. He was kind of deflecting everything. He's trying to be calm too. They were so peaceful and calm, like arguing. It was, it was, it was. I don't know if they do that over there in Glasgow. Like, that's how y'all argue. Uh, that's awesome. It seemed like everything was, like, super peaceful, but you were telling them, like, yeah, we, <laughs> you're going to give the refund. Eight, $800. Let me tell you, if you market this right and somebody takes this over, $800 that you refunded back, or no, no, not $800, but to 800 people because it wasn't $40 a person or whatever. So, yeah, that's a lot of money, you know. For something that's so uncaptivating. But think about it. You refunded all that back. However much it was. You could probably make 800 million. This could be a gold mine here. This could be a gold mine. I want them to go all in. I want I want books. I want I want books from the, the cast. That were the, the two females that were over there. In their little lab. And I, I want to know. The guy that I, I, I want to get to the da down and gritty. So they need to do like a whole movie about this probably. So I want to know the guy that was handing out the jelly beans, the, the, basically the construction of the set. I want to know the set crew and set design. Um, and you know, I want to know how they figured out gel one jelly bean per child. Cause that's important. So there's somebody that broke that down. Um, yeah, I want to see all these things. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. The Wonka experience. And it comes like you can even do it like once a year. It'll be like Cirque du Soleil. Oh. We could do a Cirque du Soleil or the Wonka experience. And then you can like incorporate the crowd into. This has so much potential. And I'm saying this sarcastically, but somebody's going to do it and market it. And I think it's going to be hilarious. Because this is our, I mean, this is, isn't it funny how something so crazy like this has become so big? Like, I'm pretty sure this stuff happens all the time, you know, here, but it, it's just, <clears throat> you could just, and the, the chocolate river and the little uh, bridge that they put in the chocolate river, do they like print something out, like get something made at like a, a photocopy of place, but like, hey, can you make like a chocolate road or whatever? And then. Um, glued it to the ground, so like, should have had like moving chocolate. And then what was up with the? Oh, they got to bring that uh, the bouncy house because that had nothing to do with it. And then they had all these tables set up like a cafeteria, which was kind of strange because they had no food there, so they would all sit down and eat one jelly bean. But I do, I do want, I want to see more from this. This has to be big. Let's go all the way. We could probably do a Wonka light show of this experience. You know? And then you can bring you can bring the the cast and crew on at the end when you do the Broadway musical, because this definitely has Broadway musical uh, potential, you know. Um yeah, you can all the people that were there originally that bought tickets. They should always get front row seats and free airfare and to go see the Wonka experience again. You know, I, matter of fact, I think that all the people that paid for it and the people that work there, whatever they make, because something's going to come out of this. They're probably going to use the unknown and all that. So people are going to make money off of this. I think that the families that actually spent the money and you probably have the list, need to get some of those profits. But anyway, I've ran it on long enough, so I don't know. Tell me what you think about the, um, the Wonka experience. 
Should we go all the way in? Should they be in the wax museum? We need this. But anyway, tell me what you think. Like, comment. I'm joking, by the way. I am so joking about this. But hey, somebody's going to do it. That's how this world is. It's going to be crazy. And you know what the funny thing is? I'm totally going to go see it. I, w- I want VIP tickets. They need to up it. We want VIP tickets, private seating to it. You know, maybe a little uh, segue where we can ride around the event. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. So anyway, <laughs> tell me what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. It just takes one little click. I want everyone to subscribe. And I do mean everyone. Ah!